Hi everyone, this is Geo Will from the Fan Production Squared, and we're back to continue our uh, walkthrough Let's Play thing in Reseteer. So, I did look up uh, <coughs> how to pronounce Caillou's name, now that I learned how to pronounce it. However, I couldn't find anything on the other one. I think it's probably, since double L is Y, since this game is pretty much, you know, it's a, a lot of the names are French names. Um, I think it's probably going to be Tyel then. TL or something like that. Similar to Caillou, but uh, just a little more wide-ish sounding. But let's go ahead and load up into our endless mode here. And get the mouse out of the damn way. And we can continue. So, got 9,000 picks left over from my buying spree with uh, uh, Louis. Um, let's see, what can we put out here? Pretty one, found that. Close, close, why not? Just drop right through the crap out here. No, I'm not getting rid of the axe, that's all. Need that. Um, necklace, let's see, necklace. Uh, void crystal, yeah, so, bring in some money. At least true card, that's worth a hundred picks to sell it. The pickle glue is muffler attached. Huh. Oh wow, I forgot we had a huge uh, thing going on with that. What the? Look, look how stupid, look how crazy this is. I have 25 apples. 25. It's one not all this food and stuff is the same. People won't stop selling food to me. Um, we're gonna head out to the town square, probably. Let's see. <laughs> All kinds of barrel. <laughs> there we go, yeah, Griff. Or is no, maybe it's not Griff. It might be uh No it's not, okay. That's the Guildmaster. I think we have to wait another day. It's gonna be tomorrow, maybe, that uh, Tyr does the thing. Um, I still haven't gone through and uh, verified all my information that I have on my tables and one. I'm actually gonna add some more, too. Because they also have the max... Uh, I found the uh, values for the max possible amount that uh, certain characters will buy at. Um, on the first tier wiki, so I'm gonna add that in and also look for the lowest possible. Let's head to the pub. <laughs> Got a backlog of uh, events here to go through. First, the first time I did this recording, this was like on maybe the second or third day of this event. So I'm temp tempting to drink a treat. That'd be a feat. Not gonna record for too long, maybe an hour or two. As opposed to 11 hours yesterday. Ah, uh, maybe not 11 hours. It was, uh. Well, 11 hours were tw over 24 hours, but it's broken down to 5 and 6 hours. I think. Um, let's go to the guild. Ah, uh, we have to have 30,000 picks. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll get that eventually. I don't think we can do any... No. Next for tier... Oh, we got tier 3 now, too. Cool. Next yeah, for, for tier... For rank 2, fusions need to have the rank fu 1 fusion items. And for rank 3, you have to have the rank 2 items. So, kind of progressively gets uh, further along, so... Takes a lot of the resources. Um... Oh, 
That's funny, it's interesting that her, her original name is actually Tier or Tire, or something similar to that, um, T-I-E-R, uh, which is with an uh, S on the end, the S sound, essentially it's uh, three in French. Pardon the, the horribly botched uh, pronunciation. But they uh, changed it for the English version because they thought that people would find it stupid with the sign S on the end. Maybe it is TL. TL. Well, I before E, except I'm C. Uh, I don't think IE is an A sound. Maybe it's a Y sound. I don't know. It's, it's friggin' something. Tylee? Maybe, maybe it is Tylee then. Price of precious metals has decreased. Crap. <laughs> Food is normalized. <laughs> Actually, let's keep that. <laughs> because we can use that in the fusion. Um, so, what we're going to do for the next. A couple of days here. Yeah, so we're just gonna do dungeon crawling, just pure and simple, eat every day, two times a day, for the next three or four days. And we're just gonna go through Amber Garden. Um. We can do the boss rushes later on. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start from... Yeah, we'll start from this floor. And we're going to be picking up everything, even the, the low price crap. This is about just getting a huge inventory of items for fusion and selling and whatever else. It's not about uh, profit now, it's just about getting a bunch of items. Because we don't have to worry about profit now, because we don't have no, long, no longer have any debt to worry about. Yeah, this game is really a game to be played with a controller. So is like uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 too. I've got that as well. I decided to buy that off the screen. And it's just these kind of games are impossible to play on keyboard and mouse. Just, you know. I mean, or keyboard I guess, because there's no mouse controllers, but... Uh, mouse controls. But I mean, you could do it, but it's just, you know, crazy. It's so much easier than, uh, much more control over what happens with the controller in these kind of games. Whereas it's the opposite for me with FPSs. 
in FPS games, I find the mouse has just way more control than what a joystick does. Joysticks are not for precise movements, they're made for kind of just, you know, pushing in a general direction. But not made for incredibly precise movements like a mouse is. Or at least gaming mice, I mean, not all mice are crazy. Like, my mouse is pretty good. Uh, it goes up to, I think, uh, 1500 dots per inch. I'm not gonna keep that simple statue. Those are good for nothing. The items that are good for nothing are cheap, those are getting tossed out. Those are things like the war daggers and uh, tier one, which are not used for anything really. They're just uh, inventory fodder. I'll get rid of it when I need to, though. Just dumping everything out at once. I was looking at some YouTube videos of people that had done walkthroughs for this. There's one, uh, well, I was looking to see how to pronounce, uh, Hailey's name. But there's this one guy, who's I think one guy, one YouTuber, I guess we'll say, that covers, and then YouTubers. um, I called Max Stretcher, that, uh, was, um, day like 78 or 9 of Endless Moon. And they had like frickin' over a million picks. No, it was over a billion picks, I think. And the picks value was you know, flowing over into the, uh, the pocket there. And they had just this huge uh, store with uh, really high level uh, furnishings and whatnot. Or expensive ones, rather, not level. It's crazy. That's the nature. Of endless mode, you can just go on forever. But it's really a lot of playability in the game. I mean, there's just enough randomness in the game as it is to pull that kind of a thing off, or you can just play it indefinitely. I mean, after a while, though, you could probably find some way of making the game not so uh, random, finding different. Uh, Patterns and whatnot, some of which I used to get uh, through the game, like selling those uh, furnishings for a ton more than what uh, you actually bought them for. But overall, if you don't use those kind of exploity type of things, you can just play it for a very long time. There's a lot of replayability in this game. Plus, the ability to unlock all the true cards for all the characters. That in itself takes, you know, quite a few playthroughs. Not to mention survival and endless mode, which both just add, you know, infinite to playability to the game. Survival mode may be more so because, uh, yeah, it's a challenge. Endless mode, you're just, you know, doing whatever for whatever reason. Endless, or survival mode is actually about paying the debt back, uh, just un unendingly. It's like, uh, there's a lot of uh, pressures behind that too. Try and find the best ways to continue through on certain days. Uh, the longest anyone's gone for on survival mode. I haven't even played it early before. I may. Well, no, I won't. May I will uh, play it. Eventually. First, we're gonna unlock uh, all the dungeons and get through all that. Get all the uh, other content that you get in extra in the endless mode. So, anyway, oh great, doubled. Not what I wanted to see, but alright. It's good that I got some good armor on. It's really overpowered for this place. It's more geared for Odyssey and uh, Odyssey and Hurry Up. I keep 
I'm gonna try not to say Odyssean for Obsidian. I finally failed to, to not say it. Uh, Odyssean. I right, go again. Damn. Uh, Obsidian Tower. Obsidian and Odyssean are pretty damn similar. Oh, well, I picked up one of those. I didn't even know. Alright, uh, where's the other thing? This, yes. Um, throw away. What else do we want to keep or not keep? Toothpicks. Don't stab yourself. That's good advice for anything. Um, well... Well, this is about picking up a bunch of items, uh, I guess we're telling that. Not necessarily high-priced items, which again is the entire point. You wouldn't, want, you wouldn't pick up this stuff during the, the story part of the game, you'd be stupid to. Because you can't stop it right And even for fusions, I mean, fusions are good, but at the same time, you're not going to be picking up a lot of fusion items. Uh, because a lot of the time, it's going to be uh, all lucrative to do so. There are other more lucrative items in the dungeon you want to take back with you, like treasures or. High level uh, equip high tier equipment or something like that. Like crystals, for example. But I did want to try and get some more stuff like that. And again, we're gonna come right back through her again. Uh, since we finish this round as well, we're gonna go up to the uh, 15th floor. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the Jade Way. Found everything except for the teleport, <clears throat> and that's a feat, I think. <laughs> I wish there was an item you could use to uh, escape from a dungeon. That'd be nice, because if you fill up your inventory, you don't have to go through, you know, a bunch of floors um, that you don't need to. I guess that works as well. Makes it a bit more uh, hectic as far as what you want to bring with you. I don't know what it was. Map was Alright, so we're just going to go down this way. If it's either going to be a trap or it's going to be an item that I can't get, so there's no reason to be hitting chests right now. Gauntlets. Nobody here but feet. As usual. You get really high combos on these. 
if you bypass a lot of the uh, enemies that you see floating, floating around just in areas. Look for only specific ones, because there's usually a lot of a certain type of spawn. Like, um, for right now we get like, lots of these guys, so... That's Shump Doria. And some of their high-level items. High-priced high items. Uh, That's all of them, man. And the lowly slam is going to kill for the door to come open. Our door to show up. Alright, so we're going to get rid of some stuff to fit this, uh... Shrimp door in. Or one thing, I guess. We can use, uh... That's really nice. There's <laughs> all this stuff scattered all over the place. Of course, we'd have a lot more uh, stuff to use if I didn't have to bring these enemies. Or enemies, these uh, items. Or something. Have five more slots. Of course, there's no way to ensure that we can sell Louie. Once we get our uh, onion base established, I'll start using some of the other adventures. So what the plan's going to be is we'll do kind of a uh, adventure a day kind of thing where um, every day I'll go out to a dungeon after this initial burst of it, and uh, we'll get a bunch of items that way. And certain days we'll get um, the high price items, and other days we'll pick up all the crap that uh, enemies drop. That way we'll have a new stream of uh, all kinds of items, both ex expensive and inexpensive. I bet tried to screw me over. It didn't quite work out. Oh no, we go straight down here. Yeah. 
Uh, the wooden shield doesn't have any use. The fact that it's still Louis' shield. The slimes are so freaking lucky a lot of the time. And during those rock traps, because they can uh, dodge all the stuff. <clears throat> That's probably because I'm helping them by making sure they are uh, packing that magical little hole. Uh, I got another purity ring. Cool. to show up on their traps and say it's a trap. Ah, oh, some water. How a tentacle monster eats watermelon? It'd be an interesting discussion, but whatever, it's best not to question these things. Especially in uh, JRPGs. These come to a whole lot of uh, other questions and answers in this case. Why not one otherwise think about? Ah, oh, cool, another one. Sweet. Two rings and one floor. It's not too bad. There's another question for you that you otherwise not might want to think about. How the hell do these things get purity rings in the first place? Crystals make sense with those guys and the slime motors, the slime things with those guys, but how do these tentacle monsters get rings? Tripdoria. Or pieces of watermelon. Oh, 
I got a full inventory. Let's see. 